school, I would say it's a little bit high-end order thinking whereby children will have to sequence the block first, put it in order, and they have to scan the barcode. So for Kibo, it won't function if they don't start with the begin block and end it with the end block. So during that time, children actually get to do a trial and error to see whether it works or not. We need more tech. These tech toys introduce children to advanced learning concepts. In doing so, they are arming future generations of Singaporeans with the skills necessary for computer programming and literacy, without exposing them to too much screen time. This dynamic new approach to education is of critical importance for parents, helping to prepare their children for the workplaces of the future. I've got three boys, they are 12, 11 and youngest is 4. Since I'm in the finance line, the current way to go is the fintech. The concern for how my kids are going to cope with the new uh, change in their career force has always been there. Definitely, I feel these tools will actually help children to prepare in the workforce in the future because we are actually building the foundation. For example, the foundation of language, the foundation of problem solving, the foundation of communicating with people. Tech literacy is not just a challenge for newer generations. As populations around the world age, the need to become digitally literate cuts across all age brackets. Singapore is tackling this problem head on with proactive efforts to provide tech education to all of its citizens.